Hey, I'm John Cruz the third on the Final Garage Gym Life, and I'm here in Litchfield, Kentucky. Did I say that right? Close enough. So, no. I don't even know how to say it wrong. Is well, okay, well, in that case, I'm saying Litchfield, Kentucky, until somebody shows up and tells me I said it wrong. Anyway, my guy, David Dennis, we're so close, man. We're damn near play cousins, all right? But uh, I'm here because David has been making me a bar that is related to a review that I recently did on my YouTube channel of your neural axle bar. And then he and I have been talking a little bit. We came up with something a little bit special, yep. but I haven't actually seen it. So, David, first of all, thanks for having me over here. Number two, you're chilling my bar. I can't wait. All right. all right, so here we go. This is 32 inches okay. from uh, center to center on the rings. So it's like a barbell, a regular barbell. Regular barbell. Okay. That's pretty. Oh man, I do my best, brother. It's 45 pound bar, and this is uh, a bar that it's something new I'm starting to do. I call it tuning a bar. Okay. So what we do is we've got additional weights that goes in the ends of the bar. Okay. So I balance the bar specifically to make sure the exactly dead center of what the neural is, is the center balance point for the bar. Oh, cool. So a lot of people don't understand that you can buy a bar and it say it's 45 pounds, maybe it is, maybe it ain't. But even if it is, it doesn't mean both sides balance in the middle. Oh, wow. Okay. So a lot of people don't know that. Uh, so sometimes when people are benching or whatever in the bars uneven a little bit, it's yeah. like, what's that feels heavier? You it might be. You could have one load sleeve by the way that they're made that has thicker wall thickness than the other one. All right. So these sleeves are a, a set of sleeves that we cut in half. And you can see how thick that this side of the sleeve is and that side of the sleeve isn't. So these are made in a casting and depending on how good that casting is, it tells you what the sleeves are gonna weigh. And uh, usually you don't have two castings that's exactly the same. So the, the mold that these castings are made in, they determine the weight. And cheaper bars especially, very rarely that you're gonna have the same weight. Oh, wow. So they actually will weigh a little bit different. Okay. So by tuning the bar for the, for the center to be the center, to be the balancing point of the bar, it gives you just a little bit more of assurance that whenever you're missing the lift or you're getting the lift, it's, it's because you're doing it on a balanced bar. Nice. All right, so as far as we know, this is the only 45-pound knurled two-inch axle bar yep. in existence. Yeah. And... You also did something special because the ends of your neural axle bar are hollow, but as you guys can see, this is not hollow on the ends, yeah. right? Now, does this still have that square core? It still has a square core. So what we do is this is where we insert the balancing rods and, and the two rods are, are different sizes slightly and it adds a lot of strength to the bar. So okay. we cut the length of uh, rod it takes to balance this bar and to get the weight that it needs to uh, go on each end. So that's how we tune the bar so that we've got the exact center is the exact center. Well, you've, you've added some weight by adding the rods in the ends. So is this bar still as strong as the previous bar, the one that's hollow? The previous bar that has the square tubing in it, yeah. uh, we tested that bar at 1,500 pounds. This bar should be a 2250, 2250 pound bar. Whoa. So. This bar is significantly stronger than the other one. It is basically human proof. Okay. I mean, I'm not, I'm not benching 2,000 pounds yet, so I feel pretty safe. Um, and like the other bar, I feel, I'll be able to use this for deadlifts. I'll be able to use this yes. for any kind of pressing, um, anything like that. What are some things that make this bar unique from the other bars on the market? Uh, I don't know of any neural axle bar that is 45 pounds. So since it's a thick grip, there's more neural in contact with your hand. So if you have like a super aggressive neural on a thick grip bar, it tends to chew your hands up even worse than one that is a thinner bar. Okay. So this, this bar, in my opinion, it's almost sticky because it's so big. Yeah. So it's kind of just, it's got a sticky property to your hand whenever you're holding. So you don't need to use it as, like if I'm deadlifting and I don't need to use as much chalk. Basically. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay, nice, nice. Feels good in my hands. But what I like, like when I'm benching, is I can put my pinkies on the rings like I'm benching yeah. and mimic my bench grip. Yeah, or if I want to go close grip, I can bring my hands in here. Yeah. And this is so, so easy. The, literally, the only thing that I didn't like about the other bar 
Yeah. It's the fact that it was 30 pounds of athlete. Yeah. I don't have it to do math. Yeah. And with this bar, I don't have to do that. I mean, I cannot wait, man. So the next thing for me to do is go play with it. So, my man, thanks for making this sure. bar for me. Cool, cool. I'm out of here. <laughs>
thank you. And if you know somebody else who might enjoy what we do as well, please share this video with them and ask them to subscribe too, because I'm trying to hit a goal of 50,000 subscribers and I need help from everybody to do it. Finally, if you like what we do and you want me to be able to get my hands on more products to be able to review for you guys, then please click that shopping button that's in the bottom corner of this video. That's where you're going to be able to check out all of the products that I use to create videos like this from the camera I use to shoot video, the microphones that we use. And also, you'll be able to check out all of the Garage Gym Life merch that you see me wearing in our videos, and you'll be able to get it for yourself as well. As always, thank you so much for your support, for watching, and I hope I was helpful. Have a great day.